What's up everybody, Isaiah Harrison here. Kotsky Photo Works at the Instagram, so go check it out. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button on this channel for more episodes of this random chat. Today is gonna be a pretty simple one. Uh, we're just gonna sit here and we're gonna go through and uh, just do some Lightroom editing. So sit back and enjoy guys. Alrighty guys, and we are back. We got the 75 to 300 millimeter lens on just to do some work on the uh, screen. And uh, usually I won't do this, and this is probably gonna be one of the only times I'm ever gonna do this, but I'm actually gonna leave the bar up so you guys can kinda see how my workflow goes and that type of stuff. So you guys are gonna kinda see my Krabby Patty secret formula. So uh, yeah, so let's start this off. This is a pic that I've, uh, I took last night. And ooh. Ah. and uh, I really wanted to incorporate something like with these uh, steams that have been coming out of the uh, manholes. So I finally, like, I was driving home last night and I seen this and I was like, I gotta stop. So we're gonna work on this a little bit. And uh, there's another picture here that I got when I was doing this. I ran into a uh, another photographer named Elite Creative. So go and give him a follow on uh, on Instagram too. But yeah, so we ran into each other after while I was taking this picture and kind of did some smoke bomb stuff down here. He took some photos of me with this camera and it came out pretty dope actually. So he used the Sony uh, A7R2 and his page is amazing guys. So like I said, go give him a follow and yeah. So we're going to work on these two photos and uh, we're going to start off on this one. And what I'm going to do first off, because I like to do... I know some people might say it's cheating, but I like to do this, just get a good start, is we'll hit the auto setting. And I like to see where to go from here first. Alright, so like, we'll do it before and after. So, auto setting actually did do some stuff that I like, it brought the colors out on the ground a little more. What I'm going to do though, is I'm going to bring the contrast up a little bit more. So. Here, take the vibrance down a tiny bit. I feel like this is also a photo that would be cool in black and white too. Yeah, but we're definitely gonna do this one in color. The other picture, I think, like that, I took as a black and white. Like I'm thinking of doing that as black and white. So you get my uh, little bit of a secret sauce on both my styles today. So I'm gonna bring the whites down a little bit kind of, or all the way actually. Take the highlights down a tad bit, all the way. And kind of got like this dark picture now. And this is kind of what I do for like my night pictures when I have that like dark vibe, like that movie vibe with it. And this is why I like doing that type of stuff when the ground is wet like this, because it just makes for the best type of uh, pictures. And we're gonna come down here, let's Oop. Let's zoom in real quick. Let's see how bad the noise is. Why is it zooming in that far? God dang it. Second. Oh, it's probably because. Nope, still doing it. Alright, whatever. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw a little bit of noise reduction on here. Because I see a little some on there. Usually, it doesn't zoom in that far. I wonder what I did. More noise reduction. And I think that should be solid right there. Yeah. Okay. So also, uh, in case you guys are wondering what I'm editing with, is I'm actually using a Logitech MX Master 25. And it's a uh, it's a wireless mouse. I want to get a Wacom a wake pad, which would be pretty cool, but uh this thing is awesome, honestly, for editing. So I haven't really like needed to get one. 
but when I do a lot of like skin retouching and stuff, that's what I kind of want the pad for. But this, this mouse is amazing. And then I'm gonna add some vignetting to this picture. Kind of add like the dark, like kind of darken the vibe to it a bit. And then we'll look at the original. So, that's the original. It's the after. Okay. And I think I'm gonna take a little bit of that vignetting off. Not so much on the vignetting. And then we'll bring the exposure up a tad. Actually, no. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring these highlights back a little bit. Then we'll bring our whites back a little bit. Mm -hmm. Bring the vibrance up just a tad. And then we're really going to get in the play with the colors in a second here. <laughs> there we go. So this is taking probably about, uh, I'd say 10.30 at night last night. On, we'll say February, it was a February 20th, 2021. We had some snow earlier in the day. As you can see, we got some snow on the rooftops up here. Okay, and then I think what I want to do is, oh, not that. So we're Bring the texture up a tiny bit. How did I just do what I was just doing? I'm gonna have to figure this out a little more because that's actually a new thing that this is doing. And I don't know why. Oh, okay, I figured out how to do what I was doing before though. Okay, so we get this a little more of a detailed look. And to be honest, I am cheating a little bit. I'm using my laptop instead of a, well, I'm not cheating, but I'm looking at my laptop. Well, you guys are on the computer, kind of using both right now, or on the TV. I'm using both right now, just cause my laptop gives me like a little bit more of a better color resolution, but the TV, I can project an overall display. It's better to look at. Yeah, anyways. Bring the uh, texture up a little bit, but we're gonna bring the sharpness up a tad bit too. In clarity, we're gonna leave alone. Okay, so we're gonna take these oranges back a tad bit. the reds up.
Okay, and that is this for this one. I am pretty, pretty happy with this for now. And I actually think I'm gonna post this one for the photo of the day later today. Let's see. I forgot how to do that, that magnifying glass thing. I'm about to work on this photo. Well, like I said, let me figure out how to do something real quick. Okay. Figured it out. I think. Yes, I did. Alright, cool. So this one, like I said before, we're going to do this one in a black and white. So, there's some good contrast here between his outfit and the lights. So we're going to raise this contrast up a lot. Probably, let's see. Scale the picture up a little bit. So for black and white, like I say, like I said for the colored, I usually start with auto and see where I like to go from there. But black and white, I usually just kind of just start. I'll take the lights down. Bring those highlights down. Not that much. Put the lights right there. Bring the lights back up a little bit. I like to get those blacks like really, really dark without losing detail, but so that's when you should bring highlights back. Bring highlights back. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And the black down is probably about right there. And this photo is kind of crisp like when I took it already. I mean, when I've switched over to black and white, kind of hard to look pretty good. So I think this one's going to be a pretty easy one to see some noise reduction needed. Do a little bit of noise reduction here. It's looking pretty clear. So that, I think is pretty much gonna do it guys. So, uh, like I said, you got a little bit of the secret sauce on both the styles of how I like to do things. I'm probably gonna go through and do a little bit more touching up on things on these two photos before I uh, share them. But yeah, so I'll see you guys in a second. I'm gonna turn this camera, or turn this uh, lens to the other one and give you guys an outro. So thank you guys for those of you who are watching. It actually means a lot. That's gonna be a wrap for this episode. If you haven't yet, please go like and subscribe to this channel. It really means a lot. And if you could, go follow me over on Akatsuki underscore PhotoWorks. That's A-K-A-T-S-U-K-I underscore PhotoWorks on Instagram. Cause that means a lot to me too. That's where I post all my uh, photography stuff. That's really my main page and my main passion. So this YouTube thing is kind of just like a little side thing that I've been doing like a little side hobby. 
So once again, thank you guys and thank you for the support. And please, like I said, subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.